We're at the 35th Crim Festival of Races Expo, and guess who we found? We found Ellen Brooks, who is the founder of the Scotiabank Toronto Waterfront Marathon, and what a race you're going to have this year. Thanks very much, Jenny. Uh, eight weeks to go, and we're excited about it for sure. October 16th, and uh, we're looking to have probably 5,000 in the marathon, 10 in the half, and there's a 5K, something for everyone, uh, another 7,000 people in that. So uh, uh, we just got to go to church every Sunday and uh, hope for good weather now, and uh, we'll have a great weekend. We have some special things going on. You always have something special, but this year you've got a lot of the top Canadian marathoners coming. Why would that be? Well, uh, everyone wants to be in London uh, this time next year, and uh, so uh, we don't have a formal trials like you do in the U.S. Uh, coming up in Houston in January, but our race has essentially become the trials. We've got four, five, six of the, the probably the best group ever of marathoners we've we've had in Canada. Uh, Reed Coolset ran 2.11.23 at our race last year. That was the fastest marathon uh, ever by a Canadian on Canadian soil and the fastest marathon that uh, uh, a Canadian has run in 24 years now. Simon Bayrou, uh, Eric Gillis, Dylan Wikes, uh, they're all 2, 2.11, 2 2.12 2 guys now and our Olympic qualifying standard is 2.11.30. So we're going to have five, six guys, one day, head to head, 2.11.30, three places in London. And uh, we got live TV this year with CBC, live broadband. So uh, even if you can't make it, people should be able to find the show at stwm.ca. Well, I think it's an interesting story for a couple of reasons, because you have that really tough standard that's even tougher than the um, IAAF Olympic standard. And um, one of the people, Simon Beru, we were looking for him to do a, just a sensational marathon. He ran for Wisconsin, and so a lot of people um, know of him because he won. He was an NCAA champion a couple of years. That's right, and uh, I'm sure still... Uh uh, a lot of badger in his heart, uh, even though he's training out now with Jerry Schumacher again. The, the badger crew moved out to Oregon, and uh, uh, I think with Simon ran that 27-23 on the track a year ago May for a new Canadian 10,000 record. So training with Chris Selinski, Charlene Flanagan and the gang, uh, he had that rough day in New York that you're commenting on last fall is marathon debut and I think a lot of us have been there uh, ourselves he was sitting on the sidewalk at 23 miles but he learned a lot from that the marathon can be a humbling experience and I think we think he'll just come back that much stronger and it's going to be a dog fight with Gillis, uh, Bayrou, cool set Wikes, uh, and maybe Matt Wazell from the Brooks Project. Uh, he's a sort of outsider who's sort of closing in on the other guys. And who, by the way, is a Central Michigan Chippewa grad. The, there you go. So it's wonderful to be back here at the Crim. I wasn't able to make it last year, and we have so many friends, you guys at Michigan Runner, but at the Crim, uh, and uh, we're neighbors, of course. Uh, a marvelous tradition here. Eight weeks to waterfront. We'd love to see a bunch of uh, Michigan folks coming over and uh, keeping that neighborhood friendship going. October the 16th, a new date this year for us. Uh, Nine o'clock start, so uh, we hope there'll be more spectators on the street starting at 9 rather than 7.30. Well, a little bit cooler time of year, and so it should be a, a perfect time for great times, and we look forward to seeing some really hot races. Thanks, Alan. Fingers crossed, church on Sundays, October the 16th, Toronto Waterfront.